and welcome to Growing Up Govani with Dr. Salima. This is episode number two and welcome back. I am Dr. Salima. I am also a board certified allergist, immunologist, and mommy to four. This channel is going to provide you with medical education and all things related to allergy as well as a little bit of entertainment because like I said, I got four kids, my four. So today's episode is all about how to use your epinephrine auto injector. Some people will loosely use the term EpiPen and you know, how, how do you practically use it? So here's some just basic information that I want to give you on just food allergies in general. So normally when we think about food allergic reactions, in theory, of course, any food can cause a food allergy, but really 90% of what we see are caused by eight common foods. So milk, Egg, eggs, uh, wheat, soy, peanuts, tree nuts, and seafood. And then seafood is broken down into fish and shellfish. And as of earlier this year, actually, President Biden uh, declared sesame seed as the ninth major allergen, and that's because sesame seed allergy is actually on the rise. Now, some fun facts uh, to know. Every three minutes, somebody is actually going to the emergency room to seek medical care for a food-related reaction. Guys, every three minutes, that is a lot. And the reason behind that is because 32 million Americans actually have uh, a food-related issue, a food allergy. That is a lot, okay? And so one way of treating uh, a severe life-threatening uh, allergy to uh, a particular food is epinephrine. And it's actually not just one way, it's actually the only effective treatment, I should say. Um, and so uh, some people will call it the EpiPen, but we call it epinephrine auto-injector because it covers all sorts of, you know, uh, EpiPens. Uh, so I have three here that I'm gonna show you how to use. Uh, I will say a common fatalities occur because folks actually will first use something else and that something else is typically something like Benadryl. Benadryl folks has done a great job branding itself. People think hives, people think allergic reaction, people, you know, any type of allergy, it's like give them Benadryl. But one thing, if you take home from this is Benadryl does not work fast enough, okay? It takes about 50 minutes from the time you actually take the Benadryl for you to get symptomatic relief. So for example, if you have a hive on your skin, it will take about 50 minutes for that hive to go away. So when you're having a severe life-threatening reaction, what we call anaphylaxis, you are going to use epinephrine. So my rule is epi first, epi fast, all right? Okay, so one thing I realized is people use EpiPen and the EpiPen this, the, actually refers to the brand EpiPen. That's sort of the patent on this one. This is the EpiPen brand, okay? So I'm gonna just start off with this one. Remember the dosing is based on uh, the patient's weight, okay? This one, no special case, this is just a trainer, okay? When you're gonna use it, it's pretty straightforward. There is a safety cap here, okay? And you're gonna pull that safety cap off and you're gonna inject into what I call do, 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 your lateral, I hope you can see it, thigh. Okay, so this is your thigh, right? Lateral, meaning the outside part, okay? And then you're just going to go, I say mid-lateral, and you're gonna take your pen, and I usually say take your finger, okay? Cover it up, okay? And then you're gonna do one quick swing in, and you're gonna go, oh, see, mistake number one. I forgot to take the safety. I did that on purpose, so you remember. You're gonna have to take the safety off. Otherwise, the pen does not work, okay? So you're gonna go one big swing in. You're gonna hear that click. I hope you heard that click. You're gonna count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Uh, a little bit slower than that. And then you're gonna let go, okay? And when you let go, boom. That's it, okay? If you are using this, you are going to the emergency room as well, right? Because this is just to buy you time. Epi first, epi fast, epi works really fast. And in fact, within five to 10 minutes, if you're not any better, you use your second dose. That's why it gets dispensed as a two pack, okay? And of course you can add on the Benadryl or the Zyrtec that you're using and then you know make your way to the emergency room or call 911, okay? Now here's another one. This is number two that I'm showing you. This is again, an epinephrine auto injector. This is Adrenoclect. This is just a trainer. This one comes in a case like this, okay? So you're gonna take it out of the case. Again, you know, I love it because they just label it very straightforward here. 
one and two. These are two areas that you're gonna pull. I always tell patients, take your thumb, put it in and hide it because I have had patients and it happens, you know, you're nervous, you're yourself or your, your family member or your child is having an allergic reaction and accidentally people will boom, inject their, their thumb. And to have epi go into this part of your finger, not a good thing. You definitely need to go to the emergency department if that happens, okay? So what are you gonna do? Again, same tactic, you're gonna do a one pull. This is actually red because this is where the needle is going to come out of. And then this is the safety, again, come out, okay? So here we go. You're gonna go back up and you're gonna go, let me move this a little bit. You're gonna go back up on your lateral thigh. So thigh, lateral thigh, you're gonna go in. So everything's ready to go. And again, you're gonna go in. Here you get, a, you don't get a quite a loud click. You're gonna hold it for 10 seconds and boom, you're done. But you do get a little bit of, of a bounce back as I call it, okay? And then finally, and this is the last trainer that I'm going to show you. This is AviQ. This one actually comes in three dosings, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 0 0.3. Uh, and this one actually talks to you uh, and, and is smaller, as you can see, and it's probably easier to carry around with you. But again, they're, all three of these will have the same adrenaline up and up front in them, okay? So this is a trainer, so I'm just going to take it out, okay? Boop, comes out of the case. It's a, boop, okay? This trainer contains no need all right. for if you are ready so. to use... Pull red safety guard down and off of this trainer. Place black end against outer thigh. Then push firmly until you hear a click and hiss sound and hold in place for two seconds. Two, one. Training complete. So that's it. This is a two second hold and you go this in. Trainer may be reused for training purposes. Okay. Replace the red safety guard and gray outer thigh. Right, we'll do that in a second. Okay. So that's, that's it. That's all how, how you can, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Be quiet, trader. Okay, there we go. Boom, okay. And so ask your doctor for an anaphylaxis action plan. I give all my patients who have a food allergy a plan in place so they know in case of panic, hey, this is what I'm gonna do and this is how I'm going to do it, okay? Uh, again, Bottom line, I, there's a whole lot going on in the food allergy world right now. There are going to be soon, you know, great oh, what we call oral option, oral immunotherapy treatment options. But for right now and for the last few decades, we've only had avoidance and give yourself epi if you have an anaphylactic reaction. So please know how to use your epinephrine. You can always comment anything in your comment. Uh, if you have any questions, again, this is for medical educational purposes. I want everyone to know how to use their epipens or epinephrine auto injectors. The last piece here, you're going to inject into your lateral thigh. A lot of people will feel like a muscle is just a muscle, so it doesn't matter. Maybe I can do my arm. Maybe I can do my gluteus maximus. No, it matters. And actually, science has evidence backing up. The fastest route into your bloodstream is actually your lateral thigh. So me saying your thigh, just because it's a muscle, is not just a random body part that I picked. There is science behind that, so please don't try injecting it in other locations. So the bottom line is epi first, epi fast. If you use epinephrine, you're also going to seek medical help by calling 911 or going to the nearest emergency room. Again, food allergies have uh, been on the rise. We know that peanut allergy has tripled over the last decade. We have new food allergies on the rise like sesame seeds. So for right now, uh, you know, anaphylactic reactions are treated with epinephrine. So be prepared and be safe. And epi does save lives. Unfortunately, each year we do have people die from, you know, any sort of anaphylactic reaction. And usually that is as a result of a uh, delayed administration of epinephrine auto injectors. Okay. And finally, I am coming to the entertainment part of my show here, which is uh, over the summer, uh, we went on a little family trip and my kids actually had never tried any sort of, my kids, my nephews, they hadn't tried any sort of like shellfish. And so we were up at North where oysters are very popular. And we asked the kids if they wanted to try them. And everyone made this like, oh, no. So we made it a little fun and we had a little bet going. And we, you know, I mean, we probably weren't the best parents, but we were waiting for our food to come and wanted to be entertained. So 
Anyways, we had them challenge, uh, and of course, for a little bit of money, they were like, sure, we'll try the clam, uh, the oyster, sorry. And so here's a little video clip of my nephew uh, and his reaction to eating oysters for the first time. Take a look. As you can see, he wasn't a big fan. And what I can say here is oftentimes, you know, when kids have not eaten a food for a really long time, the texture, you know, the, the, the taste of it, they may not, they may throw up and may not like it, not because they're having a food allergic reaction, but because they just don't like the food. All right. And that's it for this episode. Remember to subscribe, like, thumbs up, you know, something to let me know you like this kind of stuff. I am going to be back next week talking to you guys about nasal allergies and the treatments for them, focusing mainly on the fact that not